Have you been sharpening your axe? Have you been sharpening your axe? It's not the will to win that matter. Everyone has that. Because everybody wants to win. Is that not the case? So it is not the will to win that matters. Everyone has that. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. I'm sure everybody wishes to be victorious or successful in life. Nobody hates himself. So if the will to win is there. But the will to prepare to win is the most crucial and the most important thing. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verses 10. If the axe is dull and he does not sharpen its edge, then he must exert more strength. Wisdom has the advantage of bringing success. A young man approached the foreman of a logging crew and asked for a job. Let's see you fail this tree first, said the foreman. The young man stepped forward and skillfully felled the large tree. The foreman was impressed and said to the young man, You can start on Monday. You have been employed. He resumed on Monday, but by Thursday afternoon, the foreman came to the young man and said, You can pick up your paycheck on your way out today. Startled, the young man exclaimed, But I thought you pay on Friday. That's right, said the foreman. But we are letting you go today because you are falling behind. Our daily ceiling charts show that you are falling behind and you have dropped from first place on Monday. To glass place today but I work hard said the young man I arrive early I leave late and I even work through my breaks please don't just fire me the former knew this to be true and sensing the young man's integrity stopped and thought for a bit then he asked have you been sharpening your axe. And ladies and gentlemen, I ask you the same question. Have you been sharpening your axe? The young man replied, No, sir. I have been working too hard to take time for that. An axe is a strength multiplier. You can be the strongest lumberjack in the world. But with the dull axe, you are in trouble. Preparation is a prerequisite for continuous success. Do not work so hard that you don't take time for the most important things in life. The things that ultimately make you more effective. No matter how gifted and talented you are, if you do not sharpen your skill and knowledge, you are bound to be blind, eventually becoming inoperative, abortive, and ultimately expendable. Note that preparation time is never a wasted time. Emilia Ahatl said, Preparation, I have often said, is rightly to thirds of any venture. For any venture you want to do, your preparation is to take of the work done. Remember, proper preparation prevents poor performance. This is the five P's. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Don't be in a hurry to come out. You are better off sharpening your skill and your ability than showcasing in a hurry the little you think you have. People you see who operate at the highest apex, who operate at the zenith of their lives, they are the people who have been able to take time to sharpen their skills and their abilities. Some of you, the last time you studied was the last time you finished that exam, maybe your first degree. 
You should consciously, you should intentionally add value to yourself. If yours is the ability to speak, learn to do it better. Watch videos, look at people like the Obamas, the people that stand and speak. If you are a preacher, look for people like the teenagers, listen to them. You become better off. If you are not careful to learn, in fact, footballers will tell you one of the ways they get to know how to play well is to play video games. You see how smart these guys are. Because they are robots and people learn and sharpen themselves. If it is the ability to sing, add value. Sharpen yourself. Have a brand. Because if you are not careful, you may have the strength, you may have the ability, but because the axe is blunt, it is a matter of time and your strength will leave you. It is a matter of time and struggle will enter. But if you will sharpen yourself, you survive the test of time. If you sharpen yourself for ages, you still remain relevant. This young guy was so skillful. The first time he did it, they said, resume on Monday. You are too great, we need you. But by Thursday, he had been seen as a non-entity, very irrelevant to them. Why? Because he had used his own strength from Monday to the Thursday, now the axe was so dull and his strength had left him because he said he needed to exert extra effort. But sometimes we only need to take some hours off to refresh, some hours off to strengthen, some hours off to shine, some hours off to polish. By the time you come back with just a stroke, you hit and you see real impact. You don't need to exert a lot of energy because already you are sharpened. I pray, may sharpening come your way in the name of Jesus. I pray that whatever skill, gifts, talent, abilities the Lord has given you, may you be able to sharpen and may you be effective to the highest level in Jesus' name. Shout a big amen.